Hello. This here is, I believe, a little grape coral frag that I picked up on that Black Friday deal. If you check my other video, the Black Friday coral frag editions. Um, they don't tend to do a whole lot. They don't grow a ton. They don't stick out a lot. They just kind of hang out here and do basically this and just sort of, you know, hang out. This one has actually grown a bit. You can see its tentacles have spread out a bit further because before basically it wasn't doing so well, but it seems to have adapted and is starting to grow out just little by little and is just in general just a great little coral. Um, once again, you know, higher nitrate levels uh, in the 10 to 20 range, probably about good sweet spot for these things. They don't like them super high, I would say, but definitely they like the water dirtier than some other corals that like the nitrate levels under 10. So it tends to do well under this lower placement that it has. That I have it in the tank. It's kind of near the bottom. And, um, you know, it's just uh, another tentacle euphelia coral, which is kind of the focus of my tank. I do euphelia just because they're the coral that I s type of family of coral I seem to have good luck with. I've tried a bunch of others and I just have rotten luck with trying to keep them alive. So I stick with euphelia for the most part. Anyway, um, you know, with all these corals that I have, I don't do any special feedings or anything. I just do two small feedings a day for reef frenzy, and quite honestly, I do that more for the fish. And uh, these seem to love it. I stay on top of my filter sock changes about every three days, and uh, it seems to do well for all the Euphelia uh, LPS-based corals that I have here in my tank. And that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.